Hello everyone and welcome to Garden to Kitchen. Today we're going to be talking about apple trees. That's right, apple trees. It's probably very cold outside right now where you live. Certainly where I live in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, it's very cold. But it's time to talk about apple trees. Yes, because April the 1st is coming up and you know what happens on April Fool's Day? April Fool's Day is when we trim our apple tree to encourage some new growth. That's right, if we don't trim the tree, it won't encourage new growth and produce as many apples as we would like to have. So that's one thing that we have to consider at this time when it's cold outside. April the 1st is rolling around. Secondly, I'd like to tell you a little bit about my apple tree. I've got one apple tree, yeah, that's all. Uh, but two years ago, it produced 75 apples. That's right. A small apple tree, about seven feet tall, and it has about five different varieties that are grafted to the tree. Ideal for people who want to grow an apple tree in the city and they don't have a lot of space. So you can have a variety of apples on one apple tree. Now this little apple tree produced 75 apples and I was very happy, uh, but the following year it only produced about 25. So uh, the tree was really in bad shape it had these uh, leaves that were going all these different colors. It was sort of like a, uh, a pumpkin colored patches on the leaves. And after a little bit of uh, looking up on the internet, I discovered that I had a cedar fungus. That's right, cedar fungus. That is a fungus that travels from cedar trees to the apple tree and destroys the leaves. And then the following year, it travels back to the cedar tree. <laughs> Who would have thought? In addition, of course, um, I usually have some spider mites, the little red spiders, and I have a little bit of scab. So uh, I've, this year, I'm going to try something new, and I'm going to spray my apple tree for the very first time. I've picked up this, um, I call it a domestic, yeah, it's a domestic uh, dormant spray, and I'm going to spray my apple tree uh, right after I prune it on April the 1st, providing it's about five degrees above freezing. And uh, it has to be above freezing for 24 hours. So uh, let's get started and I'll explain what I'm going to be doing. And this combination of dormant spray is a mixture of horticultural oil and another product called lime sulfur, okay? Now, both of these mixed together in this little sprayer over here will uh, reduce those bugs that are wintering over in your tree and uh, that scab that's going to produce on the, on the leaves and, of course, on your uh, apples. This particular kit here uh, will uh, reduce uh, overwintering insects, eggs, oyster shell scale, San Jose scale, rose scale, black scale, and any overwintering fungus disease. Wow, what a mouthful. But that's what we want to do. And of course, it says dormant. That means we have to spray the tree before the buds open. So this spray works really easy. And I'm going to show you later on as well, too. But let me tell you a bit about the two ingredients. These two ingredients we're going to mix together and we're going to put in this particular container. How much do you need? Well, it's about, you can see that this one here is about twice as large as this particular product here. So we're going to put a quarter cup of this particular uh, horticultural oil, which is a mineral oil, uh, into this container. And of course, we're going to put a half a cup of the lime sulfur uh, into the container as well too. And we're going to mix it with three liters of water. The liters over here, uh, I have the plastic container, it's a juice jug, and this holds two liters of water. And then I have another one over here with a mark on it uh, that shows where I'm going to put the other liter. So it's nice and handy to measure and pour into this particular container. I picked up this sprayer 
at the big box store over uh, just beyond uh, my corner here at uh, at Lowe's and uh, Apparently the box was, uh, well, the box was uh, destroyed. Uh, it was all falling apart, so they put it on sale at a really uh, greatly reduced uh, price, and I picked it up uh, over the winter. In anticipation of uh, spraying my tree. This particular uh, little uh, sprayer, really easy to use. You just pull this out, you fill it with uh, the liquid and the water, you put this in and you tighten it up and I pump this for 25 times and it will create enough pressure so that when you go outdoors you just use this little sprayer and you're going to spray your tree with this device okay it also has markings on the back here if you want to use the markings uh, to fill up the uh, the jug so that's what we're going to do we're going to attempt to reduce some of the scab and some of the bugs that are wintering over. Uh, this particular oil, is horticultural oil, simply covers the, uh, the bugs and the eggs that are, are in the uh, tree and uh, that will suffocate them and hopefully get rid of the bugs. So uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to be taking you outside and we're going to show you how I'm going to spray this for the very first time. Uh, Well, we're back inside, that's right, and we got the tree sprayed, so hopefully we're going to have uh, less scab and a few less insects on our apples and our apple tree leaves this year. Uh, I don't know if you noticed the mist coming out of the sprayer, uh, but it was very fine and it soaked the, the branches uh, and the, the bee joints where the bugs are laying and hibernating over the winter. So hopefully we're going to have uh, better apples this year and perhaps even more of them. That's great. I wanted to also mention the uh, horticulture oil one more time. This is a mineral oil, number one. Number two, this is a lime sulfur. So it is inorganic. The lime and the sulfur is mined. And of course, when it's mixed together, it creates an insecticide and fung fungicide that's uh, organic. So it can be used in organic uh, farming of apples. So I wanted to mention that. I also wanted to mention if you're thinking of buying an apple tree, uh, this spring and you want to know what kind of tree to buy and how to plant it check out my blog I have some excellent articles on growing apple trees planting them and uh, taking care of them so check out my blog at garden to kitchen by Gary Carter blogspot .com. all you have to do is scroll down to the search engine put the word apple in and you'll get all the articles uh, that you need to help you grow apples. So thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe. I hope you send this off to your friends by your favorite social media and so they can enjoy uh, growing apples and gardening like we do. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.